Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm here at Affinity again and look what we've got here. Look what Neil is doing right now. This, this looks like it's going to be fun, doesn't it? Definitely a whole new challenge. We're converting it to electric. It's going to be done. Watch this space. So just figuring out if you know we can use the existing motor mounts or engine mounts here um, because obviously you're trying to mount an actual motor and there's nothing to, to obviously bolt that on so you're gonna have to obviously get fabrication done but we're trying to develop kits here so you know to actually put in bikes like this so that we can convert them um, and yeah just working out whether we can you know use the existing mount battery space we've got plenty of battery space it looks looks pretty good um, thinking maybe something can pull out the top but basically it's gonna take we've got these little lipos here and what did I say how I many it was just like 30 of these or something. Yeah, we're going to need from four in series, I think, yeah. to, to get the voltage we want out of that. And then, yeah, six, seven of them in parallel. It's a lot of cells, yeah. <laughs> we don't know if we're going to use these yet. We might be able to get better capacity or more capacity for the size. I don't know. We'll see. So let's get a motor and controller ordered for this and we'll, we can have a play around. <laughs> Lee's got his work cut out with this one. <laughs> So you're just doing a you're doing a full job on this one today. Yeah, full full in and out um, paint correction. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be a good two or three days job. This one. It looks really pretty clean to start with. Actually, it's quite it's quite clean in the engine bay, isn't it? But you're just tackling the inside because they got kids, yes. aren't they? Yeah, they've got kids <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of ingrained dirt. In yeah, he's like, oh, I've got to go and try, trying to get it out from underneath. <laughs> All this. But yeah, the lighting in here is just is amazing. Like every car you roll in that actually starts to look good, doesn't it? No matter how bad it is. It does, yeah. <laughs> makes, makes the job a lot easier. There's even bits of motorbike over here. My motor's still looking clean. Yeah. <laughs> I've given it another coat of wax. Hey look, Neil, check this out. Look, I'm charge I'm charging lipos in the boot. <laughs> Look at the tyres on the front of it there. And that's from like two... There you go. <laughs> so close. Sorry. That thing's mental. That thing's better, man. We better call it a day. See what it ends up. I think this front's bent as well. Definitely hit something. You need a fan on the speed controller. Yeah, fan on the speed controller. It pulls, it pulls about 1400 watts. Amazing. It's crazy, isn't it? Right, going back to Neil's now. Got a bit of in car communication going on. Neil. Yeah, mate. Well, I'm just uh, firing up and we can, we can head over the mic. Right, guys, back now. I had a really good time over at Neil's. He showed me his new VR rig, which he's, he's got for DCS Flight Simulator and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Absolutely insane. That guy's an absolute nightmare because every time I go and see him, I see something new and I'm like, oh, no, I need to get involved in this now. Anyway, the bike looks really exciting, doesn't it? I think that's going to be a really good project. I think, you know, working out what motor it needs. I'm Off the top of my head, I'm thinking QS motors, 138 90h there you go <laughs> um and we're going to need obviously like a 100 volt battery something like that big controller 200 amps i think we're looking at peaks at about 25 kilowatts on that bike so so it needs a pretty powerful setup but i reckon we can do it and i reckon it will be be insane anyway i've got some other stuff here um, for another project so this is for the tt I'm actually going to put TTS brakes on my TT. My Audi TT isn't a TTS already. It's just a standard Quattro TT um, with a remap and some other bits and pieces. But I'm probably going to start tinkering with that as well. So to start with, I've gone for some bigger brakes because that's obviously the most important thing. Um, and these are four-pot brakes, guys, just on the standard for the standard TT. So these, these are like huge ones, obviously, off of um, eBay. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get these all cleaned up take these to the painters, get them painted a nice red colour um, so that they look really nice behind the wheels and to you know tidy up some of this paintwork and everything else. They've literally just cut the hoses off. Anyway, you can't reuse the hoses anyway. You need to get specific brake lines for these. Um, so I'm going to get brake lines, new pads, 
um, some nice discs. So I think I'm gonna go for groove discs. They're 340 mil discs on the TTS. So I'm gonna to need to change the discs obviously, and I wanna change them because you know, they're probably shot anyway by now. But I'm gonna go for like slotted or groove discs, and potentially maybe like a two piece floating setup as well. Maybe, I don't know, I need to work out what I'm gonna do with that. Probably yellow stuff pads to get it like absolutely, it's gonna stop. I mean, to be honest, the brakes aren't bad as standard, but if you wanna increase the power a bit more and maybe do some like track runs and stuff like that, yeah, I think I think it needs to be done. It's gonna look so much better as well. You know, the Mark III TT is such a rapid little car. It's because it's so light, I think, as well. Um, but with four wheel drive, you know, the two litre turbo lump in there, like it absolutely flies on a stage one. And that is literally just, just software. So it's a re that's mainly the reason why I bought it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, because it's, it's an eye opener. It's like a 70 horsepower increase or something like that. But the torque goes up dramatically as well, like another 100 newton meters of torque, which is like the twizzy in torque, you know, extra. It, it's mad, absolutely mad. You know, because whilst I love electric vehicles, electric cars, like the twizzy and the e-bike, all that stuff, that stuff is quite easy to modify and build and all that kind of thing. But most of the electric cars at the moment are coming out, they're all just like SUVs and stuff. So until we start seeing kind of little sports cars and stuff, I'm not really interested. And to build something, like you can take like a, maybe you could put like a Tesla lump in the TT and fill the battery with batteries. It's gonna throw the weight balance off completely. It's gonna be quick, but probably only good in a straight line. So it comes down to the sort of power to weight ratio of how an engine, a small engine in a small little coupe is you, you just can't really beat it. I don't think you can beat it at the moment. There's nothing else. You know, we haven't really got to that stage with electric yet. Also, yeah, just go and buy a Tesla, but there's so many Teslas around now, like literally like it's like the new Mondeo. They're everywhere, company cars, nothing really special anymore. Right, so I've got the pads and stuff out. Um, it's pretty easy to do on these calipers. So they use these sort of retainers on top of the calipers, um, which when you put the uh, pads in, it slides through there and then that holds the pads in place. And the way these kind of fit, it just sort of sprung loaded with these metal tags. So you put the pads in and then you would slide that in and it just kind of, you know, friction holds it into, into place. To get it out, you just got to stick a screwdriver under one of these lugs and then just push it out from the other side and it slides out that way. If anyone needs to know how to do that in the future. All right, let's take them to the painters then. I've just arrived and uh, there's a security guard here. So I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, mate. Thank you. Right, I'm over at the studio now. I don't know what was going on there. Um, weird, got a security guard outside. Something, something funny is going on. So um, I did actually see the guys outside the, you know, they had a van parked up. He just said, yeah, we've got some issues to deal with. Um, but yeah, no, they'll be back soon. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get my calipers painted by those guys, but anyway, I'll keep you posted. Anyway, yeah, I'm over here today. I've got somebody coming over to collect a bike. This one, guys, so one of my subscribers is gonna be the proud owner of the bad boy fat bike. Let's get the kettle on, because he's coming from a long way away. All right, shout out to Martin. He's just collected the bike. He didn't want to be on camera, it's absolutely cool. But um, yeah, no, he seemed really happy with the bike, so that's, that's awesome. Shout out to you, mate, I hope you enjoy it. It's all good. So guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. It's been a bit of like a kind of update vlog type thing, because I haven't done a video for a little while. But don't worry, got more exciting things to come, especially that motocross conversion that is going to be insane anyway guys until next time catch you later Tell them you'll do all you can to stop the spread of COVID-19.